Uh, good day, ma'am. We are the group of Pandebegan. We are going to explain how we compute the following problems given the task performance. Hello, ma'am. I'm Clarissa. I'm going to ask you a meeting question number one. Number one, time study analysis, time and assembly operation for 30 cycles, and then computed the average time per cycle, which was 16.25 minutes. The analysis assigned a performance rating of 0.86 and decided that an appropriate allowance was 12%. Assume the allowance factor is based on the work day and determine the following. A. I'm Edzin Marie Patricia Paredes. I will explain how I compute the observed time. Sum of recorded times over number of observations. 16.25 minutes over one is equal to 16.25 minutes observed time. Letter B. Normal time equals observed time multiplied by performance rating. 16.25 times 0.86 equals 13.98 minutes. Letter C. Normal time times allowance factor 1 over 1 minus A. 13.98 times 1 over 1 minus 0.12 13.98 times 1 over 0 0.88, 13 times, 13.98 times 1.14 is equal to 15.94 minutes. Good day, everyone. I am Kim Zaira Eugenio. So for the question number two, a time study analyst wants to estimate the number of observation needed to achieve a specified maximum error. With a confidence of 90%, a preliminary study yielded a mean of 6.7 minutes and a standard deviation of 1.3 minutes. So, determine the total number of observations needed for the following. First one is the maximum error of positive negative 6% of the sample mean. And the second one is maximum error of 0.30 minutes. So, first, we should take down all the given numbers. First one is the Directed accuracy percentage, which is 1.3 minutes. And the next one is the X with the bar. The 6.7 minutes is the sample mean. And the next one is the number of normal standard deviation needed for the desired confidence is 1.65. And the last one is, this, is the sample standard deviation, the 0 0.06. So the formula we use is N is equals to JS over ax squared so n is equals to 1.65 times 1.3 over 0 0.06 times 6.7 squared so 1.65 times 1.3 is equals to 2.145 the next one is 0 0.06 is equals times to 16.7 is equals to 0 0.402 so n is equals to to 1.145 over 0 0.402 squared. So the next is n is equals to 5.34 squared. Then if you will take down the square root of 5.34, it will be 28.51. At dahil observation po yung tinatanong natin, kailangan natin siyang i-round up. So ang kalalabasan na natin yan ay 29 observation. Next, please. Christopher Torres, letter B, E is equal to 0 0.30 minutes. Ang um, formula po nito is N is ZS over E squared. And 1.65 close parenthesis 1.3 squared over 0 0.30. Z ay 2.145 over 1. 0, 0 0.30 squared. Then yung answer po is 10, 7.15 squared. And yung na round of na po, ayun, yung answer po ng 7, 7.15 is 
or yung observation nga po niya is yung 51. Hi, I'm Justin Fernand Alfonso, and we're going to explain the problem number three. So the problem number three is an analyst has been asked to estimate the proportion of time that ha that a turret flat operator spends adjusting the machine with a 0% confidence level. Based on the previous experience, the analyst believes the proportion will be appro approximately 30%. A. If the analyst use, uses a sample size of 600 observ observations, what is the maximum possible error associated with the estimate? And what sample size will the analyst need to, to have the maximum error be no more than positive negative 6%? The sample proportion is 0.30, and the number of standard deviations needed to achieve desired confidence is is 2.00 for 95.5 percent confidence and we're going to use the formula of the maximum error per percent is equal to number of standard deviations needed to achieve desired confidence square root of sample proportion times min times one minus sample proportion over sample size so 2.00 is equal to 0.30 times 1 minus 0.30 over 600 and that and 2.00 square We're going to the point 0.21 over 100, and the result is 2.00 is square root of 0 0.00035. And the maximum error percentage is equal to point 0 0.037. Number of normal standard deviations over maximum accept acceptable amount of time error squared sample proportion times 1 minus sample proportion is equals to 2.00 over 0 0.037 squared times 0 0.30 times 1 minus 0.30 is equals to 54.05 squared times 0 0.21 equals equals 2,921.40 times 0 0.21 so the sample size is 613.49